Morning Cyber Friends, the Midi Man, coming back at you from Walker's Music. But yet, another word for the day. Yes, friend, we made the Sunday morning. Palm Sunday, we wishing everyone a happy Palm Sunday. And uh, we thank God, we give God the honor, we give Him all the praise for life, health, and strength for as well as it is. This could have been the other way, but God saw fit people this morning to touch up with that finger of love. And our eyes flew wide open. We see another day that we've never seen before and one we never will see again. We'd like to give a big shout out to the YouTube fam for Baby Justice. All the way to Big Papa JT. Where's well, Mama JT? Y'all know the routine. We love you. And there ain't too much you can do about it. Also to the End Time Harvest Gang. Brother L.A. from Kingdom Knowledge. Elder Michael McCray. Brother P.P. Drawing. Brother Hot and Cliff. Elect Sister 777. Sister Kate. Linda and Leonard, we give you all your honor this morning. We just like to say, people, we are uh, going out to the house of prayer this morning. It be the Lord's will to do what we're supposed to do. I do that as a minister of music, and uh, we got our juniors are going to be in charge today in the junior choirs. We're going to sing, and uh, we are we are praying that everything works out. Will and put God first, and everything will work out well. You know, we just saying that we're giving Him the honor. That's what we go for to get to worship Him. He's the one that deserves the honor. And uh, we also was reminding ourselves that we go also to worship to get refilling, to come back out in this mean dark world and proclaim and be the light that Jesus meant for us to be. He meant for us to be a light, people, not judges, but a light. And uh, with that being said, I uh, I wrote a little piece of music uh, yesterday. Just a little short, little snippet of music that I composed. And just sitting at my keyboard, I was in my studio for just a little bit of trying to do some things. And, uh, you know, sometimes you can just, uh, just try to let the Lord use you in any way, in any capacity. In other words, you say, Lord, here I am, I, I am available, you know, just, 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 just live your life through me. And the worship part, you get in the, you get in the presence of God, and it seems like something flows that ordinarily doesn't flow out of you at different times. I mean, it just, I don't, I, I wish I could explain it, but I can't. But all I know is that sometimes the, the creativeness, flows even when you're not really I think when we get out of ourselves I, I just say it like that once we can get out of ourselves and let the Lord use us and work through us that's when the best of us come through now that's what I'm just gonna say it like that is just for the you know for the sake of those that might want to know I know I've seen a lot of people ask different questions on YouTube and all whatnot they be asking things about music production and then I do have a channel, Mini Man World, that I use for different musical questions of the ministry and whatnot. I, <clears throat> excuse me. I have not been able to I've not been using it very, very much. I've been so I got kind of sidetracked and got caught up in other things. But no nevertheless we, we just the only thing we can say is that we hope to do better. We are hoping to do better. And with that said, I want to say that all of us that goes out today, let's remember the reason why we're going out and the reason why we're doing things. Let our, let, our, let our worship be real. Don't let it be a shape, form, and fashion and outside show to the world. Let it be real. And like I said, you know, only you and God know. We can fool some people some of the time. We can't fool all the people none of the time. That's just number one. But the thing about it, people, we're not trying to do things for an outside show to the world. You shouldn't be trying to please people no way. Man has no way to put you. So in other words, we shouldn't be trying to do things for the sake of man to say, well, mid man show sure doing a good job. mid man no, no, no. Wrong reason, wrong motive. It's all about Christ. It's all about Christ. So once we can put aside us and we can get ourselves out of the way, then we can really, really fulfill the will and the purpose of God in our lives. And uh, especially now, people, like I said, we're in the end days and we're living in the, the time of the end. I really believe that. 
and we can see all the signs and we can see the things that are in place the people of especially lawlessness is so abound people do not have genuine concern and love for each other they just assume kill you now is to look at you that was one of the things another sign that Jesus said that we would have lawlessness in the last days and we see that it's very prevalent right about now so with that being said and all of the other things in, in uh, would hold and stays in the other way as a constant as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days of the end. when Jesus get ready to come back. And we know that in the days of Noah, the world was full of violence. It was very, very violent. You know, even the thoughts of man was wicked. And it's, if you look around, it's about like that now. Everything, even the imaginations of people now, they are thinking of mischief. And they are, they, they, people are very, very quick to run to mischief. And, you know, God is not pleased. God is not pleased with that type of activity. And so, therefore, we as Christians, we must be the light. As Jesus said, Jesus said, I am the light of the world, as long as I'm in the world. But now, when Jesus left, he said, but now ye are the light. Ye are the light. So we must follow and do after Jesus. And if we let Jesus be seen in us, that would, that would, we will be the light to light somebody way home that's in the darkness. That's what was. That's what our main purpose of people to get as many people out of darkness as possible. In other words, by li living our lives the way that we should live them. And I want to take this time out right now to say to the end time harvest game and to all who are heavily employed in trying to please and do the will of the Father. And meaning it what? Do what Jesus say do, and keep His commandments. Live by His precept. In, in regard of what people say about you, what they think about you, what they, how much they persecute you, talk about you. They did the same thing to Christ. And remember, if they did it to our Lord, they're going to surely do it to us. So don't, don't worry about that when you get persecuted and get talked about and people make fun of you. They're going to do that. I know they're going to do it. But they just hold strong. Stand, hold on. That's a song that I gave us. Sensation Nine Years came out with years ago. It says Saints, hold on. And so that's what I'm gonna repeat that. I'm gonna say Saints, hold on. For our redemption. Draw nigh. With that being said, whatever you get, whatever you get into, if God is not in it, best you come out of it. This is man saying peace. Have a great worship Sunday. And we will see you on the next video. Peace. Goodbye.